The next and final trigger of this module is homework for you. Try to write this trigger on your own before I show you how it's done. Now, I won't know if you attempt to write this trigger or not, but if you don't, it's like signing up for a gym membership and not working out at least three times a week. You're only cheating yourself. So get off your butt and start coding. Do not be lazy and procrastinate. Let's pretend you're working in a Salesforce org that has an issue with duplicate records. Basically, every Salesforce org in the world right now. To help solve this problem, you need to write a trigger that creates a case whenever an account is inserted. This case is a reminder for your new unpaid intern to manually dedupe the account. So make sure these cases are always assigned to the same person and the subject for these cases should always be dedupe this account. When you're done, make sure to double check your trigger actually works by manually creating an account and checking to see if a case was created. Pause here because I'm about to show you the answer. I'm going to be writing this trigger in Maven's Mate, the undisputed best coding editor in the world. The first thing I'm going to do is plagiarize the general trigger pattern I showed you moments ago. I'll update the name, the object, and then I'm presented with my first decision, before or after trigger. Hopefully you chose after, since we need to reference this account's ID later on in order to make sure the case is associated with the right record. I'll throw in my trigger loop and call my temporary account variable ACC. Now I need to create a new case record and set its subject, making sure to wrap it in single quotes since it's text. Then we'll assign an owner. The owner field is called owner ID and I need to populate it of course with an ID. Since all of these deduping cases will be done by our new unpaid intern, I can simply hard code his user ID here. I'll find his ID by navigating to his user record and taking the ID from the page URL. IDs are text, so they need to be wrapped in single quotes too. Then we associate the case with our account. A quick Google search on Salesforce case fields tells us that the field we need is account ID and we populate it using acc.id. Finally, I explicitly save this case for two reasons. One, this case is not a record inside trigger.new, and two, even if it was a record in trigger.new, this is not a before trigger, meaning no upcoming save event will do the work for us. I'll save the trigger, cross my fingers, and celebrate when there are no errors. Back to Salesforce, let's create an account and verify our trigger worked. Bam, 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 here's our case. Time for intern Joe to stop slacking. Congratulations once again on writing another successful trigger. Go treat yourself to something yummy for getting this far. Ice cream.